Hello Safari, my name is Savannah Leone and today we are at Parrot University with Debbie Foster. Morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. The birds are glad to see you again. <laughs> so I see today we are here with Kalua. We are. Can you tell us a little bit about what type of bird she is? Kalua is one of my favorite birds. She is called a Hans macaw. And Hans are one of the species of many macaws. So this is as big as they get, although I will tell you, even for a Hans, she's kind of a runt. <laughs> I noticed that some of her feathers are missing. What happened there? Yeah, um, we have learned a lot about diet and nutrition for birds in the last even 10 years. So we're constantly learning more because we are um, using scientific research now to get the information. Kalua's original owner fed her only peanuts for the first three years of, its, of her life. And that's like the equivalent of giving us a can of Crisco. It's all fat, so we won't be hungry if we eat enough of it, but we won't be healthy either. It resulted in the permanent loss of her feathers. With the loss of her feathers, will this bird ever be able to fly again? Well, the funny thing is she does fly. We did not recognize that, but we were on TV one day on a talk show, and I had put her on the set so that I could go and get the other birds ready, and they were live, and I heard the TV hostess screaming bloody murder, and I caught the words bird and fly, and I, I counted the birds behind me because those were the ones that flew, and they were all there, so I was kind of confused, and I saw this woman looking up, terrified, and here comes Kalua straight across the set about 20 feet up in the air and she made a beeline for me. I just threw my hand up and caught her. Uh, and really it makes sense that she would fly because she has her flight feathers. Okay, All of those long trailing feathers on the edge of the wings are still intact. So yeah, she flew. She did it again one time since then, but I think most of the time she's quite content to stay where she is. <laughs> so you told me that there's some big news with Kalua. Kalua is a very, very lucky bird. She and her big brother Carpe, who came from the original owner with her, are being adopted and they are going to their new home on Wednesday this week. So I am thrilled to get to show off Kalua's tricks today and to work with her one more time because she is one of my very favorite birds. So what tricks do you have planned for us today? We've got three tricks we're going to ask her to do, and remember we use positive reinforcement here, so we never force a bird to do anything. It's their choice as to whether they cooperate or not or participate or not, but if they choose the right behavior, then they receive a reinforcer, and in this case I'm using tiny pieces of walnut for her this morning. So the first thing we're going to ask her to do is ring a bell. Kalua, ring the bell. Good girl. The second trick we're going to do is we're going to let her push a car. So I'm going to have you put your hand here, okay? And you'll notice that she does this directionally. So once I get it set up, she's ready to go. I can point in the direction I want her to push it. Ready? Push. 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 All the way. Good girl. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can play basketball this morning. You ready? You can play basketball today? Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Good. Bounce, bounce. Good. Shoot it. Good girl. Yay! Say ta da! Thank you for watching Savannah Safari. Please join us next time on Kid Time when we visit Parrot University. <laughs>